everyone. Uh, before we bow in, all right, if you saw my post on Facebook today, we have a special guest instructor. Come on in. Okay. Okay. So some of you might recognize Sensei Beth. If not, this is Sensei Beth. Um, she's visiting us for the for a few days from Webster, Massachusetts. Okay, so we're going to give her a little bit of a workout uh, tonight. Okay, because she looks a little out of shape, doesn't she? All right, so feet together, hands at your sides, and bow. All right, let's uh, do a few basics. Uh, but before we do that. Uh, if you haven't checked it out over the weekend, I posted a challenge video, okay? And I did two katas, Takioko Shodan and Heian Shodan. And I deliberately made at least three mistakes in each of those katas. I want you guys to watch those videos and figure out what mistakes I deliberately made, okay? And you can email that to me. Put it on the Facebook post, comment on the, the YouTube video, all right? Email it, message, messenger it to me, doesn't matter, all right? All right, let's do our basics. So right hand up, natural blocks, each, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sich, hach, ku, ju, each, ni, san, chi, go, rook, Sich, hach, ku, ju. Switch arms. Ich, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sich, hach, ku, ju. Ich, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sich, hach, ku, ju. Switch arms again. Alternate on each count. Ich, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sich, hach, ku, Ju. All right, shake that off. All right, hands on the hips, feet together. Groin kick, skin getty, right leg first, alternate on each count. Each, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sich, hach, ku, ju. All right, knee kicks, alternate on each count, start with the right leg. Make sure you throw that hammer fist, make sure you turn your head and look. All right. Here we go. Each knee, sun, chi, go. Get that knee. Rook, sich, hach, ku, ju. Very good. All right. One more thing to get us warmed up. Drop into your horse stance. Okay. Both hands in power position. Straighten your back. All right. You're supposed to straighten your back. It is straight. All right. All right. Sanju ni kionwaza, starting with the left. All right. Face block. Face block with the left. Face I'm block. just making sure. All right. Oh. Okay. Outside block. Inside block. Groin block. Stomach punch. Hook punch. Shuto. Ridge hand, palm heel strike, back fist, upwards elbow, forward elbow, side elbow smash, okay. downwards elbow, low axe block, high axe block, open hand, open hand. Yummy. All right, shake that off. Okay, so this is sparring week. And yes, it's hard to spar without a partner, but we can work on some things for our sparring. All right, one of the things I'm hoping to work on this week is speed. All right, we know we need balance. We know we need focus. The next characteristic is speed, which will give us the next one after that, power. All right, so 
what I want you to do, if you have a partner, all right, you can grab a hand target or a small pillow or something, all right. Otherwise, just work with the air. We're going to work with the hands first. Okay. All right. So, I want you to get in your fighting position. All right. Elbows down. All right. So, you're going to work on your jab cross. All right. And if you're working on targets, left hand goes to the left. Right to the right. All right. We're going to start off with a very basic one. It's one, two, three, four. Four techniques. All right. In this case, one, two, one, two. All right. Let's do ten sets of them. All right. One, two, one, two. All right. Each. You said four. All right. Sorry. My bad. Ten sets, four of them. Each. Knee. Sign. Chi. Go. Rope. Seach. Hatch. Coop. Alright, shake that off. Get those legs loose. Alright. So now what we're going to do. I want you to see how fast you can do them, all right? But you're going to do 10 of these techniques, all right? So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all right? Get yourself ready. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Each. Was that 10? Yes. All right. I'm counting Make in my sure head. Make sure you count. I'm okay. In my head. All right. Ready? Here we go. Knee. Great. All right. That's it. All right. Sign. Chi. Okay. Go. Great. All right. So we're getting the arms loosened up. All right. So now we're going to go one, one, two, one, two, duck. Okay. We'll try showing you that again. We'll see if she ducks this time. One, one, two, one, two, duck. All right. Okay. Let's go through it slowly together. One, one, two, one, two, duck. All right. All right, here we go. Knee. Come on, hit it. All right. Sign. I didn't count. <laughs> I got in the All groove. Right. Chi. Go. All right. Go. Alright, so we're equal opportunity. Let's work at the other side. So let's put the other leg in front. Alright, same combination. One, one, two, one, two, duck. Alright, I'm gonna count. Alright, trying Yep. Each. One, one, two, one, two, duck. There you go. One, one, one two, one, two. Alright, let's do it again. Here we go. Alright, knee. One, one, two, one, two, duck. One, one, two, one, two. I gotta remember to count. Alright, here we go. Chi! One, one, two, one, two, duck. Alright, go! There. Alright. So, when we're sparring, alright, I'm not gonna take the targets off. You gotta keep the elbows down. Don't let those elbows go up. We're not doing the chicken dance. We're not trying to fly. But when we let those elbows up, we're, we're removing part of our guard. Okay? If our elbows are down, all right, it's easier for our arms to move up and down to protect us. 
Okay. All right. So let's get our legs involved now. All right. So we're going to go a double one, two, kick. All right. Turn that hip. I know. All right. So once again, one, one, two, kick. All right. One, oh, oh, sorry. One, one, two, kick. All right. Let's try it. We're going to be working both sides. Each. All right. Knee. It's been a while since I worked this with the kids. Son. Switch sides, we'll do the other side now. Alright. No. You're doing that. Oh, one. that I just come on. Alright. Here we go. Each. Alright. Knee. Oh. Alright. Time. One more on that side. All right, go. Great. All right, shake that off. All right. All right, let's go back to our regular fighting position, whatever's your strong side. All right. So let's do this leading leg kick, cross, jab, jab. Okay. All right, ready? So leading leg kick, cross, jab, jab. That's it. All right, let's give it a try. All right, each. Knee. Son. Chi. Switch sides. Alright, yep. Alright. Each. Knee. Son. Oh, I'm just hitting. No, you were doing it. Good, shake that off. All right, so now we've been doing that staying stationary. I want you to let's just start off with a jab, jab, cross, but I want you to move forward. So it'll be leading hand, jab, jab. So I slid this foot forward and then cross and step. All right, so we're gonna go jab, jab, cross. But Move forward with that jab. Jab, jab, cross. Good. All right. Good. Let's do a few of those. All right, back up a little bit. All right. Each. Knee. Son. Chi. And go. All right, let's switch sides. All right, so it's gonna be, there's your jab, jab, cross, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's try it this side. Each. Knee. Time. Wait for it. Chi. Good. All right. So let's add to that. After that crossing punch, front snap kick. All right. So we're going to go jab, jab, cross, 
kick. All right, hit the target. You went low. I'm used to it from the the little kids. All right. All right, I'll just aim for that next time. You just hit the target where I put it. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Jab, jab, cross, front kick. All right. Each. Knee. Son. Sorry. I forgot. You were coming. Chi. Go. All right. Let's do the other side. All right. Let me jab, jab, cross. Yes. Yes, I'm just keeping on it. All right, here we go. Each. Oh. All right. Knee. Sun. Chi. And go. Good. So what we're going to do now is an exercise to work on our blocking, all right, and moving our hips, all right. I'm going to take these off for a second, all right. But when we're fighting, sparring, our guards should be up here. The guards are really should be more like a boxer's guards, all right. You can do that. That's going to help you when you get in close, all right, because your guard is compact. All right, your guard with your elbows in, all right, can travel up and can travel down. All right, now we also need to use our hip, our hips to turn. Boom. All right, that helps us to bring that guard down and cover more area. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get in our fighting stance. Our guards are up. All right, and what I want you to do is on my count, you're going to do a double outside block. One, two, and back to the guard position. One, two. Now it's not going to be a full extension for the guard or the block, all right? But just a small one. That gets you used to moving those arms, all right? And notice I'm kind of exaggerating by putting that elbow out there. Boom. All right. You technically, technically can use that type of defense in a tournament and point sparring, all right? If you get that elbow out there, if your attacker just happens to kick into your elbow, you know, your toes hit their, your elbow, all right? It's not your fault that they kicked it, all right? So let's just do that exercise. So everybody get one foot in front, and it's gonna be a double outside block on my count. One, two, as quick as you can, quick and hard. All right, each, and back to the guard, okay, knee, sign, chi, go, rook, seat, hatch, All right, let's switch sides. All right, we gotta be equal opportunity. So guards are up. All right, get them up here. All right, so the rear one, then the front one. Each. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Seach, Hatch, Coop, Jew. Okay. All right, shake that off. 
All right, that's one that you can also do with a partner and some pads, okay? In this case, you're gonna hold the pads this way, all right? And you're gonna strike outside blocks into them. All right, go. Again, again, again. All right, you're using more arm. I want you to use more hip. Okay, try it again. Hip, yeah. All right, see that? So that's something you can work on, all right? The traditional blocks from Shukukai, their intent was always to break or destroy what was attacking, all right? And that's, and those traditional blocks, those are the second parts of our blocks, all right? From groin block, this was traditional groin block. Traditional face block was just one arm. Traditional inside block was just one arm. Outside block is the only one we still do the traditional way. That arm, even with our natural block, should still be executed with that kind of force. All right? So that when the attack comes in, if she came in with a punch, boom. My, job, my goal there was to break her arm. All right? Or at least give them something to think about. Cause them pain. All right? So that's what the way we should think of executing our blocks, even during sparring. During sparring, all right, a groin block is a shorter motion anyways. Boom, boom, boom. Face block. All right? And outside block. We don't necessarily do an inside block during sparring. That's more motion. All right. Okay. Now, in the Yokoshin style of fighting, you're allowed to use elbows and knees in your striking. All right. If you haven't seen the Yokoshin knockdown and semi knock semi contact fighting, all right, they don't allow them to punch to the head or elbow to the head. They can kick to the head and knee to the head in the advanced divisions. All right. So we've got to learn how to use those elbows. This will help us in self-defense, all right? So get there in your guard position, all right? And what you're going to do, all right, if your partner, if you have someone working with you and they can hold a target, all right, it's a quick little shot with that elbow. Boom, boom, all right? So let's do a bunch of those elbow strikes, all right? The first one is the forward elbow. Just like we did in San Juni Kiyomaza. All right, here we go. Each, knee, san, chi, go, rook, teach, touch, two, two. Good. All right, switch. Each, knee, san, chi, go, rook, teach, touch, two, two. Good. All right. Now another strike that you can do when you're in close, all right, especially in a knockdown or semi-knockdown, all right, is that hook punch that we just did in San Juni, or you have the uppercut. So let's work our hook punches, all right, all right. Now the hook punch is not reaching way out. The hook punch is staying close. It might be coming in here to the liver and kidney, all right, the midsection, it could be coming up to the head. When that arm extends, all right, it has less power. And if the arm happens to hit something in here, it takes, there's a greater chance of doing damage to the shoulder. But when that arm stays in close to the body, boom, all right, the shoulder has support. All right, so let's work some of those hook punches, okay? So... Right there, okay? It's coming right across your gut, all right? So right across your gut, boom. All right, it's compact. All right, let's try it. Ten of them. Each, knee, son, chi, go, rook, seach, hatch, two, two. Switch, other side. Each, knee, son, chi, go, rook, seach, hatch, two, two. Okay, make sure you use that hip, okay? When you're executing that hook punch, the hip has got to get into it, 
all right? It's gonna give it more power. If it's just arm, it's probably gonna hurt them, but it's not gonna do as much damage. So now let's go to the uppercut. The uppercut is like a hook punch, except that it's going upwards. It too has to stay close to the body. If we were trying to reach out here with it, all right, we're not gonna have any driving force. So it has to stay close. All right, so get ready to do an uppercut punch. All right, come to the middle of your chest. The idea is that it's coming up through the guard, up into the bottom side of the jaw. All right, here we go. Each, knee, time, chi, go, rook, seech, hatch, ku, ju. Oh, all right, switch arms. Okay, other side. Here we go. Each, knee. Sound, chi, go, rook, seech, hatch, two, two. All right, good. So now, we've got our jab, we've got our cross, all right, which could also be a stepping punch, all right? We've got our hook, and we've got our uppercut. So let's do a little bit of those in combination, all right? So, we're just going to alternate hands, so get in your fighting position, starting with your leading hand, so it goes jab, Cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. All right? Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. My bad. All right? Let's go through it slow. Your goal is to get faster with that combination. So it'll be jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. All right? So jab, cross, hook, hook. Uppercut, uppercut. All right. And on those, on that uppercut, make sure that elbow is not swinging way out here. It's coming right in by your side. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Five one side, five the other side. Each knee. My bad. All right. Knee. Time. Okay. All right. Chi. Go. Sorry. Oh, yeah, switch sides now. All right. Each. Jab. Oh. Hook, hook, uppercut, oh. uppercut. All right. Knee. Sign. Chi. Go. All right. Okay. Off the screen. All right. So I understand that, you know, we're all kind of limited on our space that we have to move around. All right. The next part of that really is to execute these moving forward. All right. You've probably heard me say this a lot, though, that when I'm sparring or I'm fighting, I don't want to fight or move to get to my opponent and stop. I wanna move to make them back up. When I do that, I take away two of their weapons and that's their kicks from their legs, all right? You can't kick going backwards, all right? So that limits their counters to only their hands, all right? So, if since a Beth is closer to me when we start, all right, and I start moving forward, I want her to back up. All right. So remember, I'm not moving to get to the target. I'm moving to go through the target. Now, if you're the one backing up, how do you counter that? All right. You get offline. 
All right, you get out of their direction of travel. If your opponent is a bigger person, all right, and bigger people meaning, you know, usually the ones that are over six feet and at least a couple hundred pounds, all right, when they get moving forward, it's very hard for them to change directions. So as I, I'm moving in here with Sensei Beth, all right, I'm coming in, all right, she blocks and then moves offline, and I'll go right by her. But as I'm going by, she can be striking. And we went blurry again here, okay? All right, so get a little bit closer. All right, so I'm attacking one, two, boom. She came right in there. All right, let me show you, we'll show you from this side. All right, get this way a little bit. All right, so I come in, one, two. There's her punch, her striking. She's letting me go by, but she's moving around to strike me. All right? This applies to every form of sport fighting. All right? MMA, knockdown, semi-contact, point fighting, clicker fighting, continuous fighting, doesn't matter what it is. You get offline, but you attack when you're moving offline, all right? Especially when one person's really big and the other one's small. It's to the advantage of the smaller person to be able to get offline, okay? They will be much more successful. If they try to absorb that charge, that attack, they're gonna get run over, they're gonna get crushed, all right? Years ago, we had a gentleman in the, in the school here, Mr. Schur, big man, about six foot four, and he was also huge, and he liked to charge, all right? And I was sparring with him one time, and we were on the wrestling mats, and I happened to step in between the wrestling mats because they had spread apart, and I tripped, and because he couldn't stop his momentum, he ended up coming right down on top of me. Okay, everything went dark. Okay, I used to be about six feet tall until that day. All right, all right, that's it for the general class. We have our next one at eight o'clock, our, our advanced class. We'll work on some more things there. All right, so hopefully, you can join us, and hopefully, a few other people will be joining us. And we'd like to thank Sensei Beth for joining us, driving all the way out from Massachusetts just to be here with us. Okay. All right, feet together, hands at your sides, and bow. All right, and we'll see you at 8 We hope you enjoyed this video. We want you to enjoy all of our videos. We hope that you learn from our instructional videos, are entertained by our demonstrations, and you celebrate our competition and tournaments. Please subscribe to our Golden Eagle Martial Arts channels. And after subscribing, ring the bell down below Make sure you receive notifications when we post new content. Some of our instructional videos are unlisted and can't be found on our channels. You can view those videos by becoming a member of our website, www.jimakarate.com. We look forward to more teaching and entertaining and hope that you will join us. Have a great day.